A few weeks ago, I posted a video on TikTok's blueberry tattoo apprentice being fired seemingly out of nowhere. And this firing drama sparked debate all over TikTok about whether tattoo apprentices should be paid or not. With some people arguing that it's actually illegal for mentors not to pay their apprentices. How about this? Pay your apprentice. You legally are supposed to be paid. You want me to pay you to teach you how to tattoo? And really quickly before we get into the video, I just wanted to thank today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is a place to get inspired, learn new skills, and put them to work in impactful ways. When you join Skillshare, you get access to thousands of online classes with topics ranging from illustration, graphic design, and photography to music, marketing, and productivity. I recently took this class on how to draw a tattoo style chrysanthemum from scratch. This class was so fun and informative and I was able to grasp how to draw this difficult flower really quickly. And I'm really proud of what I was able to draw this day because of this Skillshare class. I'll definitely use these skills in drawing this chrysanthemum and maybe even tattoo a design like this one day. So if you would like to unlock your creativity and learn something new, the first 1,000 people to click the link in my description box down below will get a full free month to Skillshare Premium. So thank you so much to Skillshare, now back to the video. And like I said, this whole debate was sparked by the TikTok Blueberry Apprentice being fired. And during this whole drama, it came out that tattoo artist Matt Vaught wasn't paying his tattoo apprentices for their time at his shop. Some of you may know that I am a tattoo apprentice myself. I've been apprenticing for about six months now. I paid for my apprenticeship. I don't get paid at all, and I work five days a week at the tattoo shop. I've never, ever, ever heard of anyone being paid to be an apprentice. And TikTok had a lot to say about this, but this is incredibly normal in the tattoo industry. At least from my experience, the most common tattoo apprenticeship is not paid, and it's more of like a trade work for learning how to tattoo. The next most common apprenticeship is where the apprentice pays their mentor in order to learn. TikTok user Julia Stabs People posted this video where she broke down all of her apprenticeship costs. She says, my apprenticeship is unpaid. I paid $4,000 for the apprenticeship and had to get all of my materials out of my pocket. And she goes on to listing all of the expenses that she has paid. And this is definitely thousands of dollars on top of what she already paid her mentors to learn. And a lot of people in the comments are saying that this is not normal, that this shouldn't happen. Someone said, I feel like this is not normal. It sounds like your shop is taking advantage. Definitely this is not how it works in Canada. And Julia responded saying, it's 100% normal in the States. Every artist I've talked to had an unpaid apprenticeship and had to pay between 2 and 10K for theirs. Someone else said, yup, it's just like every other trade. I paid $17,000 to go to hair school and had to buy my own supplies. And this attitude is normal in the tattoo industry, at least from my experience. Every apprentice before me paid for their apprenticeship at the shop that I work at. And if there's apprentices in the future, I'm sure they would be expected to pay and not be paid. And just because it's common doesn't mean that it's right or it's the way that things should be. I saw this TikTok by user Lynn Lowhide, and they had some pretty interesting things to say. If you are an apprentice, a piercing apprentice, or a tattoo apprentice in a traditional apprenticeship, you legally are supposed to be paid. See, there is this law in America that exists called the Fitzgerald Act, and it is designed to protect apprentices. And it is put in place because apprenticeships are fundamentally very different than going to school to receive an education or training in a job that you're interested in. Apprentices are often doing the same work and the same labor as an employee and then learning on the side in between the work that they're providing for the business. But they are providing labor for a business that a paid employee otherwise would provide. If you are answering the phone, helping clients book appointments, cleaning up in the studio, sweeping, mopping, cleaning the bathroom, helping out with the studio at conventions, creating content for social media, for your studio. That is work that an employee would otherwise be doing, and that is valuable labor that you should be getting paid for. 
And this is definitely a compelling argument from Lynn. And realistically, they are right that apprentices do a lot of labor for the shop that they work for. And there's this article by Kaufman Legal that backs this point up. And the article says, employers are permitted to pay apprentices less than minimum wage during the educational or training portions of an apprenticeship. However, employers cannot pay an apprentice less than minimum wage if the apprentice is performing productive work for the employer. So it does seem like there is a legal leg to stand on here to argue that apprentices should be paid when they are performing those working tasks for the shop. And in the comments of Lynn's video, someone said, a reminder that just because the mentor doesn't understand labor laws, it doesn't make them exempt from them. Someone else said, I lost interest in becoming a tattoo artist because unpaid labor seemed to be the norm. I hope things change and people wake up to how wrong that is. And the original tattoo artist in the center of all this drama, Matt Vaught, actually also responded to this in a now deleted video. It's pretty long, but we're gonna watch some of it. Now, if you don't spend thousands of dollars to get your apprenticeship or to learn how to tattoo, you may be given the opportunity to apprentice with a few expectations. First and foremost is keeping a positive and professional attitude towards other artists, towards shop owners, towards associates, and towards clients. Second is showing up when expected unless otherwise approved. Next is keeping the shop clean, not just cleaning once a day. This work is not strenuous. It's something we all had to do and given the opportunity to make a life as a tattoo artist, it wasn't that big of a price. The next thing is managing inventory of shop supplies. Very self-explanatory, don't let us run out of supplies. Once these small tasks are managed, you're expected to learn and draw tattoo styles. I cannot force an apprentice to pay attention and I have no control if they do not ask questions. I give drawing exercises, and these exercises are meant to help you with the fundamentals of tattooing or creating certain styles. Whether you complete these exercises is totally on you as an apprentice. I do not have the time, nor should I have to babysit you. Beyond that, we have a shop Instagram page that you need to manage, which means keeping a regular schedule of posting each artist's work. Now, just to put it in perspective for you guys, this is unpaid. You are paid with opportunity. And even as you're cleaning, you're learning. So to say that you should be paid for this, I want you guys to think about something. If you're going for a cosmetology license, are you getting paid for that? No, you're paying for your education. And if anybody else wants to dogpile on this little witch hunt situation, feel free. Because I've got nothing to hide and I'm not going anywhere. And maybe this speaks to more of the environment that I'm being brought up in, in the tattoo industry, but I don't disagree with Matt. Like I said, I paid for my apprenticeship, I don't get paid, and I invest a lot of my own time, my own money into this career. I see my apprenticeship as a replacement for going to school for a trade. In any other trade, you would pay to go to school, and you're learning for months or years. I feel like I'm getting a lot of value out of my apprenticeship. And I know that's not the case for everyone and I know some apprenticeships fully take advantage of their apprentices, but in my experience, I value my apprenticeship and I value all of the things I do for the tattoo shop without being paid for them. And Matt's perspective is interesting because the apprentices aren't paying him to learn. So he kind of takes a step back and when he's saying, I'm not gonna handhold them and I'm not gonna force them to learn, but he provides them the opportunity to learn and they're there for free. So they can either take that opportunity or they don't. And this probably works for some people. I don't think it would work for me if I wasn't like actively invested in my apprenticeship. And having paid for my apprenticeship, my mentors are also more invested in me and making sure that I got my money's worth. So I personally advocate for paying for learning to tattoo. Because in my mind, it keeps everyone accountable and invested in the apprentice actually learning the trade. Whereas Matt's definitely very hands-off with his apprentices. And there's more tattoo artists that don't agree with the fact that apprentices should be paid. So this TikTok user actually, Court Mello, posted this video. You want me to pay you to teach you how to tattoo? No! If anything, you should be paying me. I'm taking my time to teach you, to watch you f up, to teach you. I'm letting you use my supplies once you start learning. I'm buying you your first supplies. And you want me to pay you for a guaranteed job and a career that's f 
amazing and will give you everything and people in the comments of this video agree for the most part with what she's saying some people pay for college some people learn a lifelong trade skill for mopping for a year asking for more than that is wild preach you got to include that you're not just teaching them to tattoo you're teaching them how to make a living as a tattoo artist much more involved and I also understand that point of it where it's like when you're a tattoo artist, you're not only tattooing, you also have to learn how to run a business and you're learning that as an apprentice, even when you're cleaning the shop and you're taking clients and deposits, when you're doing all these things, you are learning things you would need to do as a tattoo artist as well. From a mentor's perspective, I do understand questioning why would I pay someone and teach someone at the same time. It's like I'm wasting all of these resources on this person that is then going to have my exact job. So like, why would they do that? Lynn Lohide, the creator we talked about before, gives some more examples on why they think apprentices should be paid and taught. Genuine question. What is the incentive for me to ever want an apprentice if I have to teach and pay them? Let's get into it. First is profit, making money. Um, apprentices can be incredibly profitable for a studio. Ideally, if you are the one training your apprentice, you know that you are training them up to the standards that you would like them to work at. And anyone who works in this industry knows it can be really freaking hard to hire good tattoo artists and good piercers. So when you're apprenticing someone on your own, you also have the knowledge that the employee that you will gain at the end of this is a skilled, knowledgeable employee who has been trained up to your standards. So this is an investment in the business growing, being able to handle more clientele and handle more and make more money. We also came up at a time when apprenticeships were as they still mostly are, completely unpaid, which created a huge issue with who could access apprenticeships. It is only someone very privileged who can afford to work unpaid for one to two years, five to six days a week, and either have somewhere to still live and manage or work two jobs and do all of this. So when we take on apprentices, we are directly having a hand in shaping the future of the industry based off the type of people we're choosing to apprentice, how thoroughly we're choosing to train them, and how we choose to treat our apprentices. So we have this incredible opportunity to help fix and improve the industry. We have this incredible opportunity to get more people of color, more queer folks, more disabled folks, more people from different backgrounds, different perspectives, different diverse outlooks on the world into this industry to help improve this industry. And Lynn brings up a great point in that video that you have to be in an incredibly privileged position to take on a full-time job where you're not being paid for a year. And like Lynn said, if you pay your apprentices, this gives more people access to an apprenticeship program that wouldn't otherwise have access. So people of color, queer folks, disabled individuals, these people that wouldn't have access normally would be able to if they were paid. And that's why I would never look down on someone that doesn't have a traditional apprenticeship because traditional apprenticeships are historically so inaccessible to so many people that a lot of people opt to doing it on their own, which is them being resourceful and them going and getting a career that they want despite the disadvantages that they might have. And there's so many stories of people who have incredibly abusive apprenticeship experiences. And Lynn themselves also had a horrible piercing apprenticeship. And that's unfortunately more common than you might think. And it's really disappointing that that's the way the industry has been for so long. And it's so normalized to treat your apprentice like shit. With that, I honestly don't really know where I stand on if tattoo apprenticeships should be paid or not. I definitely see arguments for both sides and I understand that it's just such an unregulated industry and it's so hard when so many people are stuck in these old ways. Like I said, I am glad that I invested in my career and I am learning so much. I'm also incredibly privileged to have found a tattoo shop that's also investing in me and not being abusive. But my case is definitely not the case for everyone. And I can't say flat out apprentices should or shouldn't be paid. I think it's definitely a case by case basis. And I think the tattoo and piercing industry has been just so hugely unregulated for so long that there's a lot of really horrible things that happen to apprentices and they're just trying to get into a career. But with that, I would love to know what you all think about paying for tattoo apprenticeships. Do you think apprentices should be paid for the work that they're doing? Do you think apprentices should pay to learn? What do you think? Let me know down in the comments below. 
But if you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. If you have, leave me this emoji in the comments so that I know that you are a real one. Bye everyone.